Hey everyone, so I have another book review today and this is one of the two of a kind books and this is number two, How to Flunk Your First Date. Now this obviously isn't for my for my age group, this is about age 7 or 12 depending on reading abilities, but I just read a really, really, really sciencey book which really filled my head with so much information I thought, right, the next book I'm going to read is going to be a really light fluffy book. So I chose one of the Olsen's books. Now the cover first of all is gorgeous, all of the two of the kind, two of a kind book series has a different colour colour design on the front and a different image of the girls and this one obviously has Mary Kate and Ashley there. Now this story is really quite quite interesting. It is based on one of the TV episodes. At the back you can see there if I can just get to the right page, there's a bunch of merchandise advertising there. You have clips from the TV episode. So you can actually watch the episode. But I can't recall seeing the episode but I know it existed because I have seen it and I remember seeing yes, I've seen it. Um, but in this one, Mary Kate needs a maths tutor because her maths grades are falling down. And as soon as Ashley sees this maths tutor, he's 15, I think he is, Ashley falls in love. It's love at first sight with this maths tutor. Now, I don't know why, because there's a picture of him there, and I'm like, you know, it's all the baggy, baggy trousers and the, oh, no, he needs a bit of a hairbrush and things. But no, Ashley falls in love with this, this maths tutor. Ashley is 11, by the way. And Mary Kate doesn't want to re to be tutored because she needs to be at the basketball games. And if she's not at the basketball practice, she gets dropped off of the school team, which obviously for Mary Kate would be the the, the end of the world. So they come up with a plan to switch places. You know, Mary Kate's like, well, actually, it was actually Ashley's Ashley's idea, so she could spend more time with the tutor. And she's like, well, Mary Kate, if we switch places, I can spend more time with the tutor, and you can go to the the basketball practice, the the baseball practice even. Um. And they do that, they switch places, and it's a case of, are they going to pull it off? Now, the Olsons have a lot of movies, a lot of, a lot of, like, like the book series and things, where they do switch places, because it's a, it's a twin thing, you know, it's a very common thing for twins in TV, show, TV shows and movies to do, is to switch places. And it's a case of, are they going to pull it off, how is it going to unfold, what problems are they going to encounter, and things seem to be going fairly well, but it's a case of, is that gonna gonna last? You also have a little side story in there, and um, where Carrie, the all the well, the American and Ashley Burke in this, the Burke's um, babysitter is trying to set their dad Kevin up on a date with somebody who works at a coffee house, and you also have to see how that one unfolds as well. And is he gonna get the date? Is he gonna be rejected? Is it gonna get the date and it's not gonna go well? You'll you'll see what happens when you read it. It is really interesting. Now, obviously, I have to read this with an open mind because for me, it's not the most in-depth story. The level of detail is not too great, but it is a children's book. So it is perfect for a really nice, light, fluffy read, especially if you're an Olsen fan. I think if you're not an Olsen fan and you're looking for a light read at my age, it's not going to be that good because it's not, you know, it's not intended for adult reading. It's intended for Olsen fans who like the TV series. Now, if you're not an Olsen fan, but you're the target audience, I think you will still like it. But it's better if you can relate to the relate to the twins, relate to the TV show, which is fantastic, and and really understand the characters and be able to visualize them and picture them what's going on. Because as I said, apart from the Olsens, the the description isn't too detailed. There are there are some good. The description of the hair is really good. There's there's good description of Carrie's hair, which I really like. Um, she's absolutely fantastic. Does anybody know what she's doing now? I'll show you a picture of Carrie. Her real name I can't remember because it's been so long. I don't know what she's in just now. I can't find her in anything. I tried to, tried to get in touch with her a couple of years ago, but failed miserably. Um, yeah, but it is really good. The writing size, as I'll show you there, is small. Small compared to, say, most books for kids this age, but it's not so small um, that your eyes are going to hurt. The page number, now, there's less than 100 pages. How many is there exactly? Um, let me double check this. 88 pages in total, um, not including the promotional pages at the back because there are, you know, loads of buy these things, please. Um, so it is really short. I read this in two settings. I could have read it in one if I didn't have a headache. probably took me about an hour and 15 minutes to read it all, and that's with looking at the pictures and flicking back and forth and things. So it will not take that long to read. It is really nice. You can get it on Amazon for a penny plus postage. Just definitely worth getting a hold of. It is really fun and really lovely and just, it's really cute. It is for the Olsen fans, as I said, but if you're not, still perhaps give it a go and let me know your thoughts. But that's it for just now, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!